my mindset is, A, I signed up for this. And B, when it's time to fight, it's time to fight. At the end of the day, it's gonna be me or you. And I'm coming. I do it again. Add it up, add it up, bank roll. He is a force of nature in the boxing world. His lightning-fast reflexes, flawless footwork, and devastating power strike fear into all challengers. With a killer instinct and the skills to execute it, he is one of the greatest to ever step foot in the ring. In the heartland of America, Omaha, Nebraska, a child was born on the 28th of September, 1987. This was no ordinary child. His name, Terrence Crawford, a name that would eventually echo in the halls of boxing history. He's the undefeated, undisputed champion of the world! From the beginning, Crawford's life was shrouded in poverty and struggle. Born and raised in a challenging neighborhood in the streets of Omaha that held many dangers and obstacles. I think that's where all the pain came from. When I go down to the neighborhoods that I grew up in, that just reminds me and reflect back off where I came from. Introduced to the sport at the tender age of seven, he found sanctuary within the four corners of the boxing ring. You know, I started boxing when I was seven. I was away from boxing about five years. I came back in 2002. That's when I really got serious with boxing and felt that I can do something real good with it. His father, Terry Crawford, was a former amateur boxer, and perhaps it was in those early years, watching his father lace up his gloves, that the seed of Terrence's own future was sown. His young life was punctuated by encounters with law enforcement and periods of juvenile detention. Take me back to your block. And that's where it all started at. Me going in the street, putting on the gloves, me fighting in the alleys. Just a typical bad kid running the neighborhood. Nah, the streets don't call me. Sometimes I might get mad or something at somebody, but that stuff is behind me. So were you a good guy that did bad things or were you a bad guy that is now good? I don't know. I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy. Each experience was a silent whisper, a ghostly voice in the back of his mind, prompting him to look for a way out and rise above. With the guidance of his trainers, Carl Washington, and later Brian McIntyre, Crawford honed his skills. He's the best all-around athlete that I've ever seen. The guy can throw a football 60 yards, the guy can hit a golf ball 300 yards, the guy can hit a baseball on a 90 mile an hour pitching machine. Like, he's the best overall athlete I've ever been around. Long hours spent at the gym, the sweat and blood he spilled there became a part of his life. Terrence has worked hard and deserved everything that he's receiving right now. Nothing was ever given to him. Nothing was ever given to us. You know, we had to take risk and improve ourselves night in and night out in the boxing world. I mean, it was a couple of incidences that's happened through his life and I've always been a big brother to him. Terrence Crawford was a product of his environment, but he refused to be confined by it. He emerged from a childhood overshadowed by an abusive mother. Enduring both physical and emotional pain, her actions left scars. He know what time it was. He got whooping. He sure did. What kind of whooping? An ass whooping with a belt. Well, I, I was always getting in trouble, so I was always getting a whooping for something. So. At a point in time, it just became numb to me. Well, it ain't gonna hurt. It ain't nothing but a belt or something. First time it hurt, though. Yeah, I was a little kid. <laughs> I grabbed the belt and told her, you ain't about to hit me no more. All that's out the window. I ain't getting with no more. He was even shot in the head in 2008, but luckily the bullet didn't lodge itself, and he survived. Your life changed in very different circumstances in 2008 after you got shot, is that right? Oh, life changed 360. You know, I was one of those troubled kids, I should say, uh, out in the streets, doing whatever. 
even though I had boxing, you know, to, to take up a lot of my time, I still was doing a lot of stuff that I shouldn't have been doing. Well, it just made me uh, move a little different. You know, I take it as a wake up call, but that's old, that's behind me, you know. Winner. Terrence Crawford showcased his skills and dominance in several memorable fights. It all started when he defended his world titles against Felix Diaz at Madison Square Garden. Crawford's lightning-fast jab and impressive footwork allowed him to control the fight's pace. At the same time, Diaz struggled with severe swelling and limited vision. And that incredible uppercut, look at that, in the fight. And if Crawford follows his career pattern, Diaz will pay a price. No, he's not. Not at all. And he's smart because he remembers to go to the body. Concerned for his fighter's well-being, Diaz's trainer threw in the towel after the 10th round, giving Crawford another victory. In the post-fight interview, Crawford expressed his readiness to take on any challenge and called out Keith Thurman as a potential future opponent. Crawford faced Ndongo on August 19, 2017, in a historic clash to unify the light welterweight division. Crawford's dominance was on full display with all major titles on the line. First world title with a first round knockout. It's the length, the speed, all those things. But one thing that should be missed that I think favors Crawford. Paper, it's a three inch height advantage. There's a swinging, swiping. The shots that you need to land. Good shot from Crawford right there, but Ndongo still just a little tight for my taste. He delivered a thunderous left hook to Ndongo's body in the third round, securing a stunning victory and becoming the first undisputed champion since 2004. Watch. Wide punches create holes. There's a big hole underneath. Left hand to the body by the southpaw of Crawford. Right hook misses. Left hand to the body. The follow up does it. Young fighters. It feels great. It feels, man, like a dream come true. I, I like to thank everybody that came out. I like to thank Nebraska, America. I did this for all of us. Not content with his success in the light welterweight division, Crawford moved up to the welterweight division. He relinquished his WBO title and set his sights on Jeff Horn, the reigning WBO welterweight champion. He's viewing me as a small welterweight, and come fight night, he's going to see otherwise. I just feel like um, that's good for him. You know, he's coming in hungry and determined, and that makes for him a good fight and I'm gonna be prepared for whatever he brings come Saturday and he might get hurt. No, he's gonna be he's put on the size, he's gonna be a nice strong welterweight. I can't wait to get in there and prove prove the doubt is wrong. I know everyone thinks that I'm a I've heard it before, I've heard I'm a chump, I've heard I'm a fraud um, of the welterweight division. I'm just there to prove everyone wrong. Finally, on June 9, 2018, Crawford faced Horn in a highly anticipated fight. Crawford's strength and power overwhelmed Horn throughout the match. Bagging out. Back there back in, and there's Crawford that does check that right hand hook from that southpaw position. The left hand that comes in from Horn. And then they see Jeff Horn, major motion picture coming out. All that settling on the relationship of trainer to fighter. That time he came forward and but nailed him. Jazz. And a good left hand and a combination from the American. Horn said, I'll test his soul. I think it's the ninth round. The referee had to stop the fight, declaring Crawford the winner. That's it. It's over. It's over. Triple division world champ here in Vegas. But Crawford on top of the world. I'm strong. You know, y'all didn't believe me. And I was way stronger than him. You know, y'all kept telling me how strong he was, but y'all didn't give me enough credit. So I had to go in there and show y'all. Boom! Are you ready? I'm 
ready. Be ready. Remember what I told you. Be ready. What you tell me? That you gonna get your ass beat, boy. Be ready. Focus on your fight. Be ready for your ass beat. And be ready for those free teeth. I'm gonna give you two more. Saturday, he gonna find out how hard I bite. I ain't gotta do too much talking, cause I know what's gonna happen come Saturday. Yeah, you better enjoy that belt, cause Saturday that belt's gonna be mine. Okay. So enjoy it these rest of the days you can, because I ain't heard be that mine. plenty of times, brother. They're they're so comfortable, they're so un, unbeatable. You know, every hey, everybody has to lose one day. To, Saturday's gonna be or not, brother. He's not gonna beat me. Crawford's next challenge came from Jose Benavidez, whom he faced on October the 13th, 2018 for the WBO title. There he is. And there he goes to the body. It was a left hand to the body from Crawford. Good exchange. Does Crawford. There he works his way to the inside and included yet another body punch. Tried to go to the body there, but went up top. Now he comes sweeping across that belt line. Crawford's precision and evasive maneuvers proved too much for Benavidez, and Crawford secured another impressive victory. How we want to end this fight, Oh! Crawford gets him! My oh my! What a shot! Is he the finisher they all expect him to be? He is! What a huge right hand! The son who she forged in the neighborhood. I believe Terrence lands an uppercut, a right uppercut, a punch he never threw through the whole fight. Short uppercut. Does any fight to put fear in you? Has, has any fight in your career so far put any fear in you? Not at all. They put on their gloves just like me. They bleed just like me. Why be scared? I've been doing this since I was seven years old. So has Amir been doing it at the same time. Do you see anything in him? Anything different? Do you think he realizes that this could be a harder fight than maybe he thinks? I mean, I don't think he realizes that he is, got, he, he is gonna have his hands full. Um, I really believe that I am gonna be his toughest test and, um, you know, I'm just gonna come in the fight and do what I do best. I've never ducked away from any fight and I've never not gone into a fight giving my all. So this is, bit, this is going to be another day in the office. In April 2019, Crawford fought Amir Khan, delivering a thunderous combination that sent Khan to the canvas in the first round. Because once Crawford starts getting his jab landing, then he's able to set up his combinations. Oh, he scores a knockdown! Bob Crawford with a first round knockdown! Floating along, calculating, and then oh, did he wake up! Crawford, another right hand, and Khan is wobbly again, trying to stay up, end of one, wow, Bud Crawford. Despite Khan's efforts, Crawford's speed and precision dominated the fight. There it is. Finding the solution and inflicting pain. Yeah, Khan, very hesitant, he can't get inside. Catch him in, in between his shots, just like that. Did you see the transition right there where he stepped back? I think it's Leblanc. Mm. This fight's being stopped because of that. Well, we got more than four rounds, of course. You didn't quit. Yeah, you quit. He Tell quit. the truth. Nah, I didn't quit. So what happened? What happened? I mean, I think I was hit with a little shock. I was hit with a little shock. I was hit with a little shock. In your leg, you quit with a shot in your leg. In the leg, you hit the ball. A long-awaited showdown between Crawford and Egedius Kavalowskis occurred on December the 14th, 2019. Crawford weathered early challenges and displayed his skill as the fight progressed. You rarely ever see guys go to Crawford's body thinking. You know, each and ooh. Good exchange right that time. Right hand came in. Wrap your brain around that and make ooh. Oh, Kavayaskis comes forward and Bud Crawford was hurt. Right hand. Now Crawford goes to the body. And look at the action we have here in round three. As Kavayaskis is landing 42% as they exchange here. Crawford right now is picking up the tempo. He sure Kavayaskis. is. He's willing to That's trade. Look at this. Go, 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 go. 
In the seventh and ninth rounds, Crawford's explosive punches sent Kowalowskis to the canvas, and the referee stepped in to save Kowalowskis from further punishment. A fight. Here comes Bud. Oh, a lunging left hand. That backs up Kowalowskis. Oh then an uppercut. An absolutely brilliant uppercut. Let's watch how he does it here. One punch. That's it. Mauling him. Came around with the looping left hand. Hurting Kowalowskis. Getting him against the ropes. And then look at the uppercut. How he sneaks it up the middle. My coaches kept telling me, stop loading up. You know, uh, I was loading up a lot uh, this fight because the first couple of clean shots that I landed on him, I, I knew I hurt him. You know, so I was trying to give the crowd what they wanted and I was a knockout. I'm a naturally bigger guy, come from lightweight up to welterweight. I've campaigned at middleweight, light middleweight. I'm a naturally bigger guy. You know, so but I don't give. I, I don't. I don't. Care. I don't. I know you, you don't care. You don't matter. Five nine, I'm five eight. It, what, yeah, what does it matter? It don't matter. But listen, <laughs> you know these weight categories for a reason. You're gonna, um, you're gonna feel. You know, listen. You know you're that. You're in my weight class now. Yeah, yeah I mean, you're in my weight cl class. This is my weight class. This you is know. my weight class. Yeah, you started off lighter than this, so it this, don't matter. This your, well, this is your weight class now. This has always right. been my weight class. You're right. This so, is my weight class now. When I entered it, it's mine. It's oh, my. All right. Yeah. Whatever type of arsenal he want to bring to the table I got more so you know he want to box I got better boxing ability you know he want to bang I got better better boxing banging uh to him he don't fight in the inside he want he what 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 do he want to do that I can't do better Next up was Kell Brook, a former IBF welterweight titleist in a highly anticipated fight on November the 14th, 2020. Despite Brook initially leading on the scorecards, Crawford's unstoppable power and precision led to a fourth round technical knockout, again stunning the crowd. Travel and then have to quarantine nor come to the United States. Some swelling already on the right eye of Terrence Crawford in the right hand, right down the middle that just lands for Kell Brook. That will put him in a safe position to let his combinations go. Beautiful right hand. And the champ gets to him. 27 knockouts in his career. Do we have 28 right here? This fight is all Thundering in. Look that's at it, Crawford. It, it. Vicious attack to close it. Like a right hook. Right on the money. Right on the button. And you see the legs right there of Brooke as he wobbled back to that corner. Nice finish up right here, combination from Terrence Bud Crawford. He wants to come in here and prove a point and remind everybody why he's atop that list, and that's how you do it. Once again, to your point, Tim, it's not a three or four round fight, it's a 12 round fight or less. And I wanted to see the reaction from Kell Brook once Terrence Crawford landed a clean shot. Crawford! I wasn't trying to hit you as hard at first. No. Because your ass was trying to counter me. Yeah. I know your little tricks. Yeah. Will Sean Porter finally wins what he calls his Super Bowl, or is Terrence Crawford what many of us up here have been saying he is all along? Certainly the greatest welterweight, perhaps the greatest fighter in the world. Crawford's welterweight title defense against Sean Porter proved a formidable challenge. Accidental head clashes left both fighters with cuts. Trying to cut off oh, the ring there. Yeah, to and your point, again. Tess. Some of these rounds are close, but the, even the body language of Sean Porter can suggest that he's in control. But Crawford's switch-hitting prowess prevailed. In the 10th round, Crawford delivered a devastating straight left that sent Porter to the canvas, prompting his corner to throw in the towel. But there's the overhand right, and another combination! Beautiful work by Crawford! It's up! No, give me the top! Oh, they stopped it! They stopped it! They stopped it! They stopped it! They stopped it. Yo, run! That's that! That's that! That's it! No man has done that! Crawford just did it! Yeah. Yeah. Always happy. Well, you see Crawford doing what he does best, finish. Oh. He got that right hook in there. Not a shot he really landed thus far up until this point. It's a heavy, heavy shot for any fighter to take, especially this late in the fight. Here we see a half step back. Going into the 10th round, you know what I mean? People was yelling at me, pick it up, and I was like, all right, maybe I'll pick it up, you know what I mean? And that's when I got the stoppage. Right now, I'm on the verge of trying to conquer this division. 
I didn't conquer the 35, 40. Now I'm looking to conquer 47. And who knows what the future holds with 54. You know, so that's why I say the sky's the limit because I'm not going to put no limit on it. The most recent chapter in Crawford's story unfolded against Avanasian. Crawford's crushing right hand to the jaw in the sixth round resulted in a stunning knockout victory. And even Avanasian's punch out, but it's starting to come down in this round a little bit. Is taking it up the gears. Nice. Oh! See if it's a counter left double cut. Here it is, counter left double cut right hook. Yep. Avenisi threw his own left hand. So it starts out with Avenisi throwing his left hand. Watch Avenisi's gonna throw his left hand. Watch the reaction by Crawford. Watch the reaction by Crawford. Boom, counter. No, we actually knew uh, what he was gonna bring to the table. We knew he was gonna go back and forth from orthodox to southpaw. We knew he was gonna try to counter. We knew he was gonna pressure me. And you know, uh, everything else is history. <laughs> Terence Crawford's journey in the boxing world is marked by his impressive dominance, skill, and victories against tough opponents. His remarkable performances have solidified his status as one of the sport's great champions. Do you think Terence Crawford is the best in the game right now? Will he stay undefeated? Let us know below, and remember to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time.